Hello friends, welcome to AI Medical School, so in this video, we are going to discuss the manitol drug, but before start our discussion, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, subscribe to it, so you never miss the latest updates. Table of Objectives Overview Indications Side Effects Warnings and Dosage Let's start with the overview. Manitol most extensively employed as an osmotic diuretic. Its D enantiomer is used clinically. It opposes the reabsorption of water which normally accompanies sodium reabsorption from the kidney tubule. Used when there is a danger of renal failure, such as shock, cardiovascular surgery, and in fluid overload refractory to other diuretics. May cause cardiac failure owing to increased circulating blood volume. Manitol administered by intravenous infusion. Indications are, manitol is primarily indicated in conditions like bladder irrigation, cerebral edema, diuresis, edematous states, oliguria, poisoning, raised intracranial pressure, raised IAP, renal insufficiency, reperfusion injury, sodium depletion, and termination of pregnancy. Contraindications are, manitol is contraindicated in conditions like acidosis, congestive heart failure, pulmonary edema, intracranial hemorrhage, dehydration, inadequate urine flow. Now the side effects, the severe or irreversible adverse effects of manitol, which give rise to further complications include dehydration, hyponatremia, edema, skin necrosis, hyponatremia, inflammation. Manitol produces potentially life-threatening effects which include pulmonary edema, convulsions, hypertension, hypotension, anaphylaxis, fluid and electrolyte imbalance, water intoxication, which are responsible for the discontinuation of manitol therapy. The signs and symptoms that are produced after the acute overdosage of manitol include coma, confusion, lethargy, stupor, severe hyponatremia, the symptomatic adverse reactions produced by manitol are more or less tolerable, and if they become severe, they can be treated symptomatically, these include dizziness, thirst, headache, nausea, vomiting, fever, tachycardia, blurred vision, chills, thrombophlebitis, hypokalemia, chest pain, xerostomia, urinary retention, and dizziness. Warnings are before rapid administration of manitol carefully evaluate patient's cardiovascular status because the sudden expansion of extracellular fluid leads to congestive heart failure. The diuretic response following 15 to 20 percent of manitol may further aggravate pre-existing hemoconcentration. Manitol should not be administered until the patient renal function and urine flow have been determined to be adequate using a test dose. The drug should be administered to the pregnant mother only when the potential benefits to the mother outweigh the potential risks to the fetus. High-risk groups are, drugs should not be given to pediatrics, pregnant mothers, cardiac or hypertensive patients, geriatrics, and neonates. If prescribing authority justifies the benefits of the drug against the possible damages he or she should reevaluate them and consult the reference material and previous studies. Now dosages are, adult dose is 0.2 gram per kilograms, and the root is IV. Test dose, maximum 12.5 grams over 3 to 5 minutes, if there is no diuresis within 2 hours discontinue manitol. The neonatal dose is 16.66 to 66.66 milligrams per kilograms, and the root is IV infusion. And infuse over 30 minutes, repeat the dose as required. Thanks for watching, and if you like the video, so please give the thumbs up and share the video with your friend.